hockey fans and welcome to the EA Sports Arena in Cologne, Germany for this tournament game between Team Ukraine and Team Russia. Welcome again everyone to NHL 2001. I'm Jim Houston And I'm Bill Clement. You're looking for great hockey action? You came to the right place. You know, in tournament play, you might get some help from some other teams, but first things first, you gotta win your own games. Ahead to the wing. He intercepts the puck. Ukraine got it. He has it. Russia with it now. Bure carries it into the attacking zone. Tevardovsky carries the puck out of his own zone. Goes hard, missed the net. Bure takes it. Milik scoops it up. Winds up. He gets it. Stalenkov denies him. Taken by Russia. To Bilic, taken by Ukraine. Shoots it! Saved by Stalenko. He plays the puck to Zuba. Pull you from the left. Boy, this guy's in the zone, baby. He wants some shooting. Bring it on, guys. Jumped on by Malahoff to Coral you. Intercepted by Miranov. He gets it. Golan winds up, grabbed by Stalenkov, plays the puck to Coral you. Ukraine scooped it up, Jamnov gets it, shoots, turned aside. He gets shoved. Jamnov carries it. Bure tees up. Moves it, shoved. Bure jumps on the loose puck, skates across. It's given to Yashin. Bure winds up. It goes wide. He gets the puck to Bedko. Tevardovsky grabs the puck. Kovalev has the puck. Korolev offside against Russia. One by Fedorov. Malahov moves it into the offensive zone. He's in control now. He moves it out of his own zone. Miranov moved it. He jumps on the loose puck. Kogil scores! Let's look at the way this play shapes up. McGilney gets hold of the puck and puts a well-aimed shot on net from the right side. The goalie attempts to get his trapper on it, but the puck manages to sneak by. Nice work. With that goal, you play. Now trails. One. Nothing. Well, the one goal is just a minor setback. If this team keeps working hard, playing their system, they'll get it back. Change soon. Kozlov. He winds up. Misses to Markov. I love to see the replay. Is it cute, guys? Jim, a coach really knows he's on a roll. No matter who he puts out there, they get the job done. That goal, Russia, now leads to nothing. Well, with a two-goal lead, it's much easier to play conservative hockey and let the puck do the work. Zubov in control now. Carries the puck. Russia picked it up. Harrison picked out of the air. He freezes the puck. Watch the replay and you'll see just what an amazing save that was. 
The shooter thinks this one's in the bag, but obviously the goalie had another idea. Russia wins the draw. Shoots it, pushed away. Kamenovsky. Oh, oh man, he's not just a good hitter, he's a smart hitter. He picks his spots, keeps it clean, and he rattles teeth. Picked off, gives it to Tevardovsky. Carries it. Tevardovsky gets it. Kozlov moves across to Korolev. He grabs it, Golak controls the puck. Carries it into the attacking zone. Pull scores upstairs. Look at this, he takes the pass and gets the shot. One can expect, but the puck manages to find its way into the net. Great play. And that brings to an end the first period of play. everybody and welcome back as we get set to start the second period and Jim if the energy from the first period continues this second period is going to be awesome Won by Yashin. He takes control. Bure tees it up. Moves across. Russia scoops up the loose cut. He shoves Bure. Oh, can he hit? Scores! Top shelf! Do we have it? Okay, let's take a look. Yashin gets a nice pass here and gets away a pretty good shot from the right side. The goalie attempts to get his trapper on it, but somehow the puck manages to get by. Nice work. With that goal, Ukraine now trails 4-0. Well, you talk about putting yourself behind the 8-ball and the 9-ball and the 10-ball. Korolev pushed aside. Picked up by Russia. Kozlov fires. Winds up, ahead to the wing. Kovalev winds up, kicked out of the air. Skates ahead, Markov gobbles it up. To Korolev. Ahead by Markov. He plays the puck to Bilic, to Golash, Gonchar. Gunchar, Zubov, scores right upstairs where Norman puts his way. has a great set of wheels. I think he's on Super Turbo. You know, when this guy's on the ice, it's really critical that a defenseman protect the ice behind him. And that means back in earlier, get turned into a pylon. 
The faceoff goes to Ukraine. Gonchar. Shoots it, turned aside. Yashin gets hold of it. Shoots it. Gure. Gure shoots. And he covers up for the faceoff. Kozlov will skate with line mates Korolev and Kovalev. Face off one by West. Kozlov hits the post. Ukraine with the puck. Show. Kovalev fires it. Korolev grabs it. Big club save. He skates ahead. Scores! Top shelf! Russia has been shooting the lights out tonight. The face-off goes to Russia. Into the slot! Turned away! Tverdovsky takes over. To center ice. Malahov got it. Fedorov carries it. Mogilny. Run over. Fedorov carries the puck into the offensive zone. Karpetsev with the puck, quickly moves it. Kovalev, tees up, great glove save! Kozlov, tees up! Shoots the puck! Stalenkov shuts the door. Hurley winds up. Quickly moves it. Hurley gets a hold of it. He carries the puck out of his own zone. Hurley on the left. Ukraine has it. He carries it out of his own zone. Kozlov. Tverdovsky takes control of the puck. He gets pushed. Hurley grabs it. He skates across. To the front of the net. And he covers up. Now take a look at the replay of this great save. If he keeps making saves like that one, he's going to get charged with robbery. The faceoff goes to Russia. To the spot. Push away. Carries it. To Fedorov. McGillney shoots. Kicks. It's off the post. He covers up. Hey, hey, you guys in the truck, is there any chance we can see a replay of that? Nothing will frustrate a good shooter more than a great goalie who is really in the zone. Face off one by Russia. Scores! Check out this play. He gathers up the puck and releases a pretty good wrist shot from the left side. The goalie does all anyone can expect, but the puck finds a way to cross the goal line. Great play. Russia puts its checking line up. With that goal, Ukraine now trails 6-1. to one. Well, Jim, call this a, a route, a whooping, a kick, and a beating, a manhandling humiliation. Let's go ahead and pick one. Saved by Hintz. And that's the end of the second period.
Welcome back for the third period of play. Goes to Yashin. Russia gets a hold of it. Shoots. Saved by Hicks. He moves the puck out of his own zone. He moves the puck out of his own zone. Picked up by Gonchar. He's in all alone. Show. Stalinkov moves the puck to Korolyuk. Korolyuk moves ahead. Offside, Russia. Lots to tell you about in this high-scoring game. Korolev currently has the go-ahead goal for Russia. Yashin, Mugilny, and Markov have scored goals, and the insurance marker was notched by Korolyuk. Ukraine scooped it up. He has the puck. Kozlov takes position. Late call against Kozlov. He's getting called for tripping. I think we've got another look at that penalty. Well, most refs are going to give you a little bit of leeway, but if you take advantage of it, they're going to tag you. Ukraine jumps on it, moves quickly to the blue line, shoots the puck, door slammed shut by Stalinkov, plays the puck to Gonchar. Sends it off, kicked aside by Hintz. Yashin scoops up the loose puck. Kozlov steps back onto the ice as the penalty expires. Saved by Stalinkov. To the wing. He takes over to the wing, skates ahead. He's with the puck, shoots the puck, but the door is closed by Steinkov. Samsonov moves ahead. Kozlov tees it up, hits, made the save. Gonchar, short pass. He has the puck. Gonchar. He quickly moves it. Milik takes possession of the puck. Zubov takes him up. He grabs the puck. Shoots! Stalinkov slams the door shut. Kozlov moves it, finds up, missed the net. Ukraine scoops it up, he gets rocked. Kozlov can't contain the pass. Is it right on? Stalenkov makes the save. He gets the puck to Berezin. Skates ahead. Coral you. Stalenkov shoots it. Grabbed by Hintz. And he hangs onto the puck for the whistle. The ref's ready to drop the puck. Ukraine won the faceoff. Kovalev! Hintz made the save! Russia picks it up. It goes wide. Kovalev gives it up. Karpitsev. Hintz made the save. 
And he covers up for the faceoff. Can we get a replay of that? A great shot, and the goalie thought he'd lost it. He looked behind him, no puck. A really nice save, Jim. Fedorov will be playing with Samsonov. And Laguni, the faceoff goes to Fedorov. Fires it, hence, stunned and cold. Laguni carries the puck into the offensive zone. He gets knocked down. Ukraine corrals it. Carries the puck. Fired it. Pushed away by Stelenkov. Malikov moved it. Less than a minute to go in the game. Fedorov scores! Let's take a look at the replay. Well, Jim, when you're five on five, one of the things you've got to do is outwork the other team. That's exactly what happened on this goal. With that goal, Russia now leads 7-1. Well, one thing for sure, when you run up the score like this, the other team's got a long memory. Saved by Hintz. He freezes the puck. Have we got a replay of that ready to go? If they want to score tonight, they are going to have to be better than that. Another routine save. The ref looks ready to get underway. The faceoff goes to Kozlov. Markov on the right. Saved by Hintz. Time runs out. This one is over. Team Russia have defeated Ukraine. There were several reasons this game ended up the way it did. Ukraine didn't get the kind of goaltending they needed from Hintz. They spent too much time scurrying around in their own zone. And they didn't do enough to keep the shots against numbers down. And for their part, Russia did a great job of moving the puck around. In the first period, they got three goals in a row, and they played a fair bit of the game in the attacking zone. That's it for another great game of NHL 2001. Thanks for being with us. I'm Jim Houston, And I'm Bill Clement. And our next great game is just around the corner. Hope you'll be with us then. Thank <laughs> you.